Yeah, well, after a pretty awesome event out at the Fink Desert race in Alice Springs, carrying some injuries, we've decided to head west along the West McDonnell Ranges. And uh, it's not a particularly exciting ride through there. It is spectacular country. And uh, we stopped along the way occasionally. We didn't go into the gorges, done it on other occasions. So we're just going to head out and find a camp in the late afternoon, uh, probably, probably somewhere out past Glen Helen Gorge. So it's a good ride. Uh, it's really good for the rider that hasn't seen a lot of scenery in the outback sort of areas because there's a lot of good mountain ranges through here, uh, the West McDonald's particularly. That's anyway, sit back and enjoy the ride in, folks. You know, we may not be riding on the dirt here and doing it tough, but there's something about just cruising on a outback tar road, heading in towards the sunset, looking out at the trees. It's pretty special. It's 20k. Well, look at that, Mount Sonder, named after the uh, German botanist Wilhelm Otto Sonder. It's the uh, fourth highest peak in Northern Territory, 
and the highest peak in the Western McDonald Ranges at 1,380 metres. Yep, what do you reckon Rob? I do agree. This would be a pretty nice serene place to camp the night. Away from the crowds we'll have a very small controlled fire with absolutely stunning views. This was a really good campsite on this trip. Thoroughly enjoyable. Well, after waking up with a beautiful view, having a nice little cup of coffee around the fire and a little bit of a chit chat, we head down towards uh, Mount Sonder Lookout and out towards Glen Helen Gorge where we're going to go for a little walk and have some breakfast. Uh, fantastic little spot, Glen Helen Gorge. A lot of reminiscing there about Albert Namajira and well worth a look if you're in the uh, Western McDonald Ranges. Right, pretty shortly we should be arriving at uh, Glen Helen Gorge and uh, this is located on the Fink River. It's about a hundred and thirty two kilometres west of Alice Springs. So um, I do believe in the future they'll be looking at fully renovating this location. It's been uh, taken over by Discovery Parks Australia. See some wonderful example of Albert Namajira's artworks in here and I have been here on a number of occasions. It's a beautiful walk into the gorge lots of water in there. Uh, well worth the look guys, well worth it. Well we're heading out towards uh, Goss Bluff which is uh, formed by a, probably a large meteorite or a comet about 142 odd million years ago. Uh, it's known to have been travelling at around 40 kilometres a second. So it slammed into good old Australia and left a crater which is about 22 kilometres in diameter. So it's not a bad little run out there, it's worth a look. Pretty peaceful spot, we made ourselves a cup of coffee and just relaxed before we uh, headed off further around what's known as the Marini Loop because we're going to head out towards Kings Canyon and then find a camp somewhere out near Uluru Airs Rock. After we fueled out at King's Canyon, we've headed out towards Ayers Rock and uh, we found this amazing camp, sort of inland over some sand dunes, a fair way off the road and the track and stuff. Climbed up on the dune, yes, we had a view of Uluru. Uh, 
and it was just a fabulous little spot. You know, the desert comes to life out here. So we sat around, had a drink, uh, wandered around, took a lot of photos. It was really peaceful. And the next morning, we're going to head out to Uluru. Check that out.